Hello everyone, this is Tom King and this is your Puerto Rico Energy in 60 Seconds for the week beginning October 25th, 2020. Last week saw El Nuevo Dio misreport a uh, ruling by Judge Taylor Swain in the bankruptcy court. They claimed that she had approved the contract between Luma and Prepa, but she doesn't have that authority. What she actually did was uh, rank the fees payable under that contract as administrative fees, which gives them a higher priority uh, for payment within the bankruptcy and was one of the things that the uh, Junta and Luma and Prepa had sought. Uh, also in the news last week, we saw the uh, Renewable Energy Producers Association call the board of Prepa incompetent for failing to challenge the Junta on their cancellation of the PPAs that they negotiated with Prepa for uh, utility scale solar. Uh, they're right. Uh, this was stupid and incompetent, and the move by the Junta was also stupid and political, uh, and this law get worked out after the elections. Uh, the other thing to note is that USDA announced that they were funding some $630,000 worth of renewable energy for uh, America grants in Puerto Rico for energy projects. If you're not familiar with this program, it's a fantastic program. Check it out. I give you a grant for up to 25% of your uh, rural energy project uh, and uh, combined up to 75% grant and loan for your project. This is Tom King, and this is your Puerto Rico Energy in 60 Seconds.